All right, crazy town time. Biden was out talking uh, with Bernie Sanders today. <laughs> really? Oh, yes. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Bernie yeah. Bernie was out there, too, talking about prescription drugs and, oh, and, awesome. and the um, how Biden took on Big Pharma. Now, it's so laughable because he basically endorsed and forced you to take their product, but somehow he thinks he took on Big Pharma which is, I don't really get, but here it is. Crazy Town. Roll it, Aaron. Well, just listen to this. Some of these. Chris, thank you, thank you, thank you. When Bernie said it, I was listening in the back, Bernie. You and I have been fighting this for 25 years. Finally, finally we beat Big Pharma. Finally. I'm proud. <laughs> I'm proud of my administration has taken on Big Pharma in the most significant ways ever. And I wouldn't have done without Bernie, and Bernie got it. You know, look, if you want to, if you walk into a local drugstore here in America, in Canada, France, Italy, and even in Eastern Europe, all around the world, but the Republicans were able to cut back on the fact that only they only were not able, the only thing they couldn't defeat was seniors. And by the way, drug companies still make a significant prof- product, um, excuse me, significant profit. Because I said, 10 bucks to make. By the way, the guy who invented the drug didn't want to patent it because he wanted it to be available to everybody. Well, it's available, all right. But look, folks, there's a whole lot of prescription drugs that are ongoing, undergoing the process of lower pricing. Beyond, for the, it goes well beyond 50 drugs. Guess what? It's costing drug companies money. It's, it cuts the deficit by $160 billion. <laughs> I'm serious. And by the way, the other guy talked about cutting the deficit. He increased the deficit more than any president has in history. And we've cut it. Look, it doesn't require anything else because when I say these things, you say, you think you can get it done. It's already the law. Combined, combined, for example, asthma is one of the most common respiratory illnesses in America. Now, this Did he say thing asthma? is here. The seasons and allergies are on upon us. We're on the rise even more. Theoretically, if the drug company came with a new medicine that they invested a lot of money to find a better way, they didn't. Have, they wouldn't have to. They, they could argue the, another price. And the mechanism and the me, and the, me, the sure. mechanism easy for you to say attached to the inhaler, the thing that makes it you know go into your into your nose or mouth. That <laughs> yeah, is we know the place that, that Medicare hasn't changed much either. If you need that inhaler to get in there, force one with the next time you go to London, you can get off and you can get it for. I'm serious. Think, think about that, though. Just think about that. I don't want to. Look, they ended up with fair surprise. I ended up with surprise medical bills, so hospitals that are in network can't send you a bill for an out of network doctor you didn't choose or you haven't even consulted. I was in a hospital for a while years ago, and yeah. that happened. Thank God my mother wasn't here. They want to quote, I love their word they love. They want to terminate the Affordable Care Act. I love it, terminate. I wish I was able to do that. I was listed, and Bernie will used to kid me about it. I was listed to the poorest man in Congress for 36 years. I'm talking too long here. Let me close with this. I'm excited about this. Yeah, we I'm can really tell. proud of what we've been able to do. I really am. Bernie and I have been doing this work for a long time. I know we don't look it, but we've been doing it a long time. <laughs> Ah, that's Bernie and I have something else in common. We both married way above our stations. But at any rate, I just have, we have to, and I've said this many times, and I'll get out of your hair. You know, uh, <laughs> we have to remember who we are. We're the United, United States of America. I mean, I mean, this is from the bottom of my heart. We're united. There's nothing beyond our capacity when we do it together. We're the only nation in the student history that I can find that's come out of every crisis we've entered stronger than we went in. Every single time. So let's remember who they are. We're the United States of America. God bless you all. May God protect our troops. Oh, boy. <laughs> Jesus. What the hell is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so if you've got that asthmat, yeah. make sure you get that inhaler for the asthmat. Is it asthmat or asman? As, I think it's asthmat. <laughs> it was asthmat. <laughs> yeah, don't you have asthmat? 
sometimes there, uh, Aaron? I do have asthmat sometimes. So if I you thought get, it was asthma, but I, right. I stand corrected. It's asthmat or asthmat. If you get, a, if you get asthmat, asthman, right. make sure you get your, your inhaler for, yeah. and you for know, my if nose. you want to get on not Air my, Force not One. Not my mouth, for my nose. Right. <laughs> and if you want to get on Air Force One and go to uh, whatever, you London. can get it for cheaper. Or Moscow, right. yeah. He'll take you to Moscow, he'll take you to <laughs> London. Wherever you can get it cheaper, he'll take you there. Yeah. I'll find That'd some great. place. As long as you know how to use the inhaler, you know it goes in your in your nose and in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing it wrong for the past okay. couple months. Good to know. So, yeah, me too. Oh my god! A- anytime I try and like use one of those, I stick it on my toe. It never works. <laughs> like, what the hell is going wrong here? Thank goodness Joe Biden pointed it out. Oh my I woke goodness! Up dead. Jackass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> woke up dead. 